Listen to excerpts from two compositions written almost exactly 100 years apart, Purcell's Dido and Aeneas and Mozart's Piano Sonata in C major. Below the examples, write the letter names of the pitch classes in each excerpt, writing each letter name only once, in any order. When finished, you will have written a pitch class collection for each excerpt, that is, the group of pitch classes found in the music, with no particular order and no duplications. The Purcell passage includes 10 of the 12 possible pitch classes, two more and it would constitute a complete chromatic collection. The word, chromatic, comes from the Greek chroma, meaning, color, chromatic collections contain one of each possible pitch class, color. Now let's listen to Mozart. In contrast, the Mozart excerpt features only seven different pitch classes, these form a diatonic collection, seven different letter names in a particular arrangement. Because no ordering guidelines were given, you could have listed C, D, E, F, G, A, B, or C, E, G, B, D, F, A, or any other order. A diatonic collection is a subset of the chromatic collection. Now we are ready to talk about scales. Listen again to the opening of the Mozart Sonata, and sing the pitch that seems to be more stable than the rest. This pitch, C, provides the foundation for a special type of diatonic collection called a major scale. Scales differ from collections in that they are ordered. When you play or sing a scale, there is a beginning pitch and an order to the notes that corresponds to the musical alphabet, in this case, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, the pitches of a C major scale. Similarly, when the chromatic collection is ordered, it becomes the chromatic scale, made up entirely of consecutive half-steps. In musical works, composers may include only a segment of this scale. A descending chromatic segment often colors a slow, sad movement, like Purcell's aria. Chromatic passages may also appear in showy music as a decorative or virtuosic element. For an example, listen to the trio section of The Stars and Stripes Forever. This example illustrates a chromatic and a major scale, with whole and half steps identified for comparison. The chromatic scale steps are all the same size, a half step or H. In contrast, the pattern of whole, W, and half steps in the major scale is W W H W W W H. When you hear a half step in a major scale, you know it is in one of two specific locations, while in a chromatic scale the half step could be anywhere. The position of the half step thus helps us quickly locate the most stable pitches in a major scale. One way to remember the WWH WWWH pattern is to think of the white key notes on the piano, they match exactly the sequence of notes from C up to C. Thank you for tuning in to our enlightening video lesson on chromatic and diatonic scales. 
We hope you found the information valuable and that it has expanded your understanding of music theory. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated with our future content. We're dedicated to bringing you more engaging and educational lessons on various aspects of music theory and composition. Remember, the world of music is vast and filled with endless possibilities. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on our upcoming videos that can inspire and guide you on your musical journey. Once again, thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more fascinating insights with you soon. Keep exploring, keep learning, and keep making beautiful music.